playing Nintendo. Yeah. Joshua. Oh, man. Hey, Josh. <sighs> okay, guys, we're going live on Facebook in about five seconds. So I'll let you know when it's live. <clears throat> okay, we are now live, so I'll start bringing the media in. Sammy's never looked better. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the final press pass before we head to Nashville for Bound for Glory 2020. To welcome all our media and fans around the world who are watching on Facebook Live. Let's welcome in Josh Matthews. Josh, how you doing today? I'm good, Ross. How are you doing? I'm doing well. You ready for Saturday night? Oh, it's uh, it's gonna be a great, great few days. Yep, can't wait to get down. It, it, it already started, really, guys. Uh, last night, of course, Impact Wrestling on Access TV, followed by Talk and Shop Full Keg with the Good Brothers and all the buzz that was created as a result of what went down. Last night, Thursday night, of course, we have This Is Bound for Glory. Then Saturday night, it is Bound for Glory. And, of course, the pre-show taking place, Countdown to Glory Live on Access TV. Uh, so with all that being said and everything that happened last night, we're going to jump right into our guests this week. But before we do that, just some, uh, just some housekeeping news for everybody out there as we get ready for Saturday night. Knockouts championship on the line. Deanna Perrazzo defending her championship against Kylie Ray. We can tell you that Deanna has signed a long-term deal with Impact Wrestling. So Deanna Perrazzo here for the long haul as she gets ready to defend her Knockouts championship this Saturday. I think that's very important because Deanna's gotten that out of the way and now she can focus on the task at hand and that's Kylie Ray Saturday night. Uh, our guests this week are two folks who know each other very well. They've been in a uh, storied rivalry, and perhaps, as Sammy Callahan has posted on social media, they're destined to do this forever. We welcome in now Eddie Edwards and Sammy Callahan. Eddie, of course, this Saturday night, you will be going one-on-one -on -one with the man who will be inducted into the Impact Wrestling Hall of Fame on Countdown to Glory. That's Ken Shamrock. So let's start with you. Your thoughts on the fact that you're facing Ken Shamrock Saturday. You had your issues with Sammy last night. You saw Ken, the ankle lock. How you feeling? Yeah, you know, um, going into Bound for Glory, obviously, it's not ideal to be uh, jumped from behind and beat up and ankle lock. But as I've said before, like, th this is nothing new to me. You know, at Samuel Callahan, and as he'll tell you, hit me in the face of the baseball bat. And I was there the next week. I was ready to go. Like, you're not going to stop me. It doesn't matter what you're trying to accomplish, what Sammy's trying to accomplish. Uh, it's going to be a bittersweet night for Ken, you know, almost feel bad, but not really that he's going into the Hall of Fame. And shortly after that, I'm going to defeat him and Sammy and move past it and get back to my world title. That's my focus. Sammy, we will uh, welcome you in at this point. And uh, it, it's been something. I don't need of, you to um, welcome me. I don't need you to welcome me, Josh. I'm already on the show. I come on the show when I want to come on the show. First of all, I don't understand what you're trying to say. You said, oh, we got some housekeeping we got to say right now. I don't think you understand what that term actually means. It, it, it pretty much sounded like you're just giving information. And Ross, you're coming on this show of terrible lighting. Already feel disrespected. And then Eddie, I can tell just by the shoes in your background, you're selfish. Maybe give that to charity. A guy like me would actually give those shoes to charity. That, are you good with your with your opening comments for? for I'm comments? great. Look at my background. I have a set background, nice and blue. Don't like the color blue, but I'll go with it because you know what? I'm a professional. Look at me. I'm dressed up. Eddie's wearing a t-shirt and a ball cap. Look at you, selfish. It's, it's Willie course, Mac. Willie it's Mac. It's Willie Mac. Of course, you know nothing about that. Yeah, you probably got that for free. Trying to act uh, like a cool guy wearing a Willie Mac shirt. You don't even like Willie Mac. Speaking of uh, uh, merchandise. Over the course of the Bound for Glory weekend, and Sammy, thank you for the natural segue, we will be having a Shop Impact pop-up store. It's a virtual Shop Impact opportunity for all of our great fans to get your hands on some exclusive merchandise, autographed items. Stay close to ImpactWrestling.com and all of our socials for the Shop Impact pop-up store starting Saturday through Sunday 
and Monday as well. And of course, right now, Sammy, as you know, with that smile on your face, there's a Pop big up Halloween store. sale. And Pop up Pop store. Up store. Halloween, Halloween sale. Yeah. Go buy some of the Draw with Sammy Callahan's merchandise because I already know I'm one of the best sellers on Shop Impact. Let's keep that going for Halloween. I'm a guy that, what do you mean? Mm. What do you mean? Mm. Throwing a little shade, Josh? No, Throwing a little shade? You, you do just Throwing talk. a little shade, Josh? Not at all. That's what I thought. Okay. Uh, we're going to get to the media now before uh, Sammy gets even more upset. Well, what am I? That. Everyone's laughing right now. Am I some sort of clown? Do I look like a clown to you? Honk, honk. So, I'm a clown. That's how you're making me feel, Josh. Unprofessional. Joel Torres is our first question from the, uh, from, the me- from the media joel are you with us and uh what's your question for either eddie or sammy scared him away now he's there you just got to unmute yourself there joel idiot uh, we're gonna give joel a couple more seconds here we go maybe joel uh, you there yes can you hear me and see me here oh that's a go, dumb yeah. picture Hi guys. Got you, <laughs> I got I got two questions, one for each uh if one of you. Eddie Edwards, do you consider this match uh against Ken Chamberlain the most challenging one in your career over any other title match over any other rivalry that you have had in the past? No, for me, you know, my next match is my biggest is my toughest challenge. It doesn't matter who it is. You know, I've, I've gone to hell with Sammy. We, we fought in the woods. Like, a challenge where I, I was beaten down with a baseball bat, involved my wife. Like, that's a challenge. And now Sammy naturally is trying to bring other people into it. And Shamrock, and, you know, Shamrock's a guy who I did respect. I, I did respect before, you know, what he's done along with Sammy. He's a guy that I looked up to. I, I, I posted it last week that, you know, I have his book. I had him sign it for me because he's a guy that I, I admired and I wanted to be like. And, you know, things have changed, but I'm looking forward to going in there with the legend that he is. He will be a Hall of Famer at that time. And, you know, it'd be an honor to beat a Hall of Famer and check another name off the box and continue my journey back to the world title. All right. Great. And Sammy, uh, what have you learned working alongside with someone like Kane Shamrock? Oh, first of all, I want to say, Eddie, you're such a mark. Look at you. I got Ken Shamrock to sign my book. You probably bought that. It was given to me. Ken Shamrock signed it to me as a gift because this isn't about me and you anymore. It's about Ken Shamrock. I, I think I made that obviously clear. My beef with you has nothing to do with this feud. I want Ken Shamrock, pretty much the guy to be my best friend right now, me and good old Ken. Hashtag Ken Samrock, all capital S-A-M. But I'm doing this for Ken so he gets back to where he is because in the last couple of years, he's pretty much become a bitch and I'm the guy to get him out of his rut. All right, thank you guys. And best of luck. You're not welcome, you Mr. Clean looking idiot. All right, thank you. Now get out of here. Yeah. Next hey, question. Joel, thank you very much for your time. Obviously, the uh, the thoughts and opinions of Sammy Callahan uh, do not reflect those of Impact Wrestling as Sammy joins us from the set of IPWF. Let's go to Vic the Villain next. Vic, welcome <laughs> to, uh, to Press Pass. How you doing? Thanks for the opportunity, Josh. How you doing, Sammy? How you doing, Eddie? Um, my first question here is, uh, this year's for Bound for Glory is different for you, Sammy. You're not the main event, but how does that help prepare you to help Ken Shamrock in his match? And um, do you have any tricks up your sleeve that you can uh, hit, him, hit him with be- before the match? I don't know if you know this, but I'm the draw Sammy Callahan. Anything that I'm a part of is the main event. Uh, you look the last three years of Impact Wrestling, anything Sammy Callahan does is the most buzzworthy and talk about thing on the entire show. And this year is going to be no different. Uh, but I kind of get to kill two birds with one stone. One, I get Ken Shamrock to go back to being the vicious killer that he used to be. And two, I get to watch him break Eddie Edwards' ankle. So it's a good win-win for me. Oof. And for Eddie... For you, how do you prepare for the antics of Sammy in this matchup against Ken? You what can't. are you more focused on? You can't. You know, me, and Sa- <laughs> me and Sammy have done this before. It's He's not going to bring anything new to the table. This is why he had to bring in Shamrock. His old friends, where'd they go? They're not around anymore. So he's finding new friends, new minions to join him to try to do his dirty business. And that's fine. Like I can, I'm prepared for anything Sammy's going to do because I know he's unpredictable. So I'm prepared. Whatever you got, bring it, Sammy. I don't care. And you'll have all the time in the world to prepare for it because 
well, you're not on the show in a match, so oh, plenty of time. P- p- plenty of time. P- p- prepared. Of you're time gonna be prepared back. if I pull a dinosaur out from under the ring. You never yeah, know what I, the draw Sammy Callahan's gonna do. I Try to prepare for that, Edward. I love a T-Rex. Give me a T-Rex. Make a, balloon, so make a balloon T-Rex, you clown. <laughs> See, I'm a clown. Thank you. Thank you. You said it, not me. You said it. You asked. Vic, you thanks like a, a lot for your for your questions. Vic, Thank you. really appreciate it, and uh, certainly hope you enjoy Bound for Glory wait. live this Saturday night's pay per view, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Next up, we're going to our good friend from Steel Chair Magazine in France. Hello, Stephanie. Stephanie, you have to unmute yourself. Yes, Stephanie. I'm there. Hello, guys. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. It's good to see you. Uh, do and Sammy too. Um, uh, I wanted to ask you, Eddie. Do you feel like, in a way, this match is a little bit biased by the fact that it will be kind of two-on-one situation? And if so, would you have a stipulation to it? No, I'm prepared. I'm ready to go straight up. I don't care if it's two on one, three on one. It doesn't matter. You know, I Sammy can try to do as much as he wants, but in the end, it's not going to be enough. I have a good friend named Kenny. Maybe he'll be around. I got my partner at all times. Who knows? Maybe Tommy Dreamer will come out. You don't know what I have up my sleeve. You know, I'm prepared for it. Whatever Sammy does, go ahead and do it. I don't care. It's my match with Shamrock. I'm focused on Shamrock. There's a man who's a legend in this business. He's a legend in MMA. He's going into the Hall of Fame. That's what I'm focused on. Sammy is just a footnote. Sammy's a footnote, as oh. usual. Sammy's on the side. Sammy? Sammy? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm listening. What you got Hello. for me? Hello. Uh, I would say the same. Uh, if you could uh, uh, add a stipulation or add something that could possibly bring you into the match, uh, which one would you choose and would you do it? Or would you let Shamrock do? First of all, uh, Eddie says he has a good friend named Kenny. Well, I got a good friend named Ken Shamrock. Like I said, he's my best friend at this point. And like it or not, he still is the world's most dangerous man. If I could add a stipulation to this match, it'd be a fight to the death so I can watch Eddie Edwards finally die in the middle of the ring. And you have your baseball bat, of course. Oh, of course, yes. Okay, Stephanie, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, you, Stephanie. Found for glory this weekend. Sammy, those are some pretty harsh words that you had for for uh, Eddie there moments I'm ago. I'm all riled but, uh, up right now. I, I'm offended by how many shoes Eddie has in the background. There's much more. And There's much more. You should see them all. It's selfish. ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Selfish. It's absolutely ridiculous. I have three pairs of shoes. That's all you need. Josh, don't try to pretend like you're you're worried and scared about what Sammy does. He does the same thing every time. You're prepared for this. Don't even act like this is a surprise. Sammy trying to take over and, oh, I hate this guy. I hate that guy. You know what's going to go on. Thank See, you, they, act, they act Thank scared, you, but at the end of the day, back behind things, they love it because they know I equal ratings. That's a good thing. And we've got a lot of questions from the media uh, this afternoon. So we're going to go to James now from That Wrestling 90s podcast. James, what's your question for either Sammy or Eddie or both? Hi, Josh. Thanks for having me. Uh, hi, Eddie. First question's for you. Uh, you as part of what, if one of the greatest tag teams in Impact, uh, Impact Wrestling history, the American Wolves or the Wolves. Uh, I know your site is focused on your match this weekend, but how do you feel about this weekend's uh, four-way tag team match and the current strength of the tag team division at the minute? You know, honestly, if you look top to bottom for Bound for Glory, the card is stacked. You know, I have faith. I know what Impact Wrestling is about, what we're capable of. We do it every time we have a pay-per-view. We go out there, absolutely kill it. And the four-way tag is going to be no different. You have four of the best tags in the world right now. Matches that we never thought we would see. Matches that we never thought would ever happen in Impact or anywhere. So it's a real special night. It's Bound for Glory. And I know, you know, when you're walking around the back before the shows, you can feel the energy. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking forward to walking in the back. You feel the energy. You know that everybody's going to bring absolutely everything they have out there. And they're going to leave it all out there in the ring. So I'm intrigued to see how it goes. And uh, I'm pulling for the Motor City Machine Guns. Awesome. Didn't even ask that. Uh, my didn't question even for ask you, Sammy. <laughs> well, 
Well, a question for you, Sammy. Uh, you're basically the main reason why Eddie's had a change of character, I suppose, when you basically smash his face in. Do you think Eddie should be thankful to you for the fact that he has become a world champion since then? 100%. Eddie should thank me for his entire career at this point. I mean, before that, he was just a guy, you know, a lone wolf or whatever you want to call it. And since me and Eddie Edwards uh, became a thing, since I came into Eddie Edwards' life, he's become a bigger and better human being. So at the end of the day, he owes me a steak dinner. And I will guarantee that one day Eddie Edwards is going to look me dead in my eyes and thank me. Cool. Thanks for having me and good luck for the weekend. James, thanks very much. Uh, oh, your hair is stupid. All, you are all fired up today, man. And my haircut is Friday, okay? This is my pre Bound for Glory hair, and I've got a haircut scheduled for Friday. So just so you're aware. Ross has a better haircut than you. Sammy is uh, filled with opinions here this afternoon, which is great because we have uh, all sorts of media and questions. Next up, we're going to go to pro wrestling junkies, Brad Marcus. Brad, like your background. Welcome to Press Pass. Thank you very much. Uh, my first question is for Sammy. Sammy, both Don Callis and Jimmy Jacobs predicted a victory for Ken with you in his corner. Do you think that Ken could win if you were in uh, Eddie's corner? I think anyone could beat anyone if I'm in their corner. Uh, I mean, I think the proof's in the pudding. I like that phrase. Uh, when you look at impact wrestling, anything that I've touched, anything I've got my hand in has turned exactly to gold and it's been successful. Uh, people can love or they can hate me, but at the end of the day, everything Sammy Callahan does is 100% grade A awesome. Um, and for Eddie, really quick, um, going into a match with someone with the fighting background that Ken has, do you take any lessons from training with Dan Severn? Yeah, that was, I got to do that back in the day. I was pretty lucky to be in there with Dan at his gym. I, you know, that's stuff that I've carried on with me since I did that. And, you know, everything, every bit of my training, every bit of my career is going to come into play against Ken because, you know, he, you don't really know what he's going to do. You know, he's an MMA fighter, he's pro wrestler. So I'm just going in there prepared for anything. That's, that's my main goal to use anything in my, you know, in my back pocket that I have that maybe I haven't used recently, but I'll be ready for it. Thanks guys. Good luck this weekend to both of you. Thank you, brother. Thanks. Brad, appreciate it. Uh, looking forward to, uh, everybody's coverage of Bound for Glory this Saturday night uh, on pay-per-view. Coming up next, folks, it's Mike Gilbert. Mike, what's your question for uh, Eddie and Ken? Uh, excuse me, Eddie and Sammy. Oh! Hey, oh! Uh, hi. Hi, hi, Eddie. Hey, I got a question for you. So yep. I think it's cool that uh, Sammy gets involved in this match. What, what are you going to do to prepare to um, – circumvent what he's going to be trying to do during that match and, and interfere with uh, your match with Ken. Now, I appreciate the question, but why would I explain my, my plans and my game plan while Sammy's in this press call as well? I appreciate the question. Again, I'll be prepared. I know what Sammy's going to get up to. It'll just give me another chance to beat his ass. <laughs> that's, that's the point. Mike, do you have a question for Sammy? Sir, Sammy, do you have a rebuttal? Ugh. Yeah, it's pretty much what Eddie said. Uh, I know Eddie's not a dumb man. He's not going to give his game plan, but I already know Eddie's game plan. I know exactly what he thinks inside of his head. Any situation, I have something planned that Eddie Edwards, at the end of the day, loses at Bound for Glory. Guys, don't forget, if you have a question, just uh, virtually raise your hand in the chat, and we'll try to get to everybody that we can possibly get to before we say goodbye at the top of the hour. Coming up next, um, let's go to Dane from Hooked on Wrestling. Dane, welcome to Press Pass, the final Press Pass before Bounce of Glory. Hey, guys. Uh, so first, I've got a question for Eddie. Uh, where does Ken Shamrock rank on the list of your most dangerous opponents in your career? I mean, he's the world's most dangerous man. You know, I, I truly believe that. As Sammy says, he's trying to get him back to that killer that he is. And I know what I know Sham is capable of, what Shamrock's capable of. He is he is that legend. He's obviously dangerous. And it's gonna it's a mix up stylistic for me. I, it's something new. I'm looking forward to the challenge. And I know he's gonna bring something that I've never faced in the ring. It was the first time facing him. Um, I'm looking forward to it and dangerous. That's what Ken, that's what Ken is. We know that. Brilliant. And then one for the both of you. Um, you've both had very storied and accomplished careers. Was there anything 
that you haven't accomplished so far that you'd like to before you eventually retire? Anything specific? Uh, you know, to end Sammy Callahan, that's one of my go-tos. I'd really enjoy doing that. And Sammy? Oh, obviously to end Eddie Edwards. Uh, I'm not a complacent person. Being the Impact World Champion is not enough, but I, if I could end Eddie Edwards' career, it'd be a big feather in my cap. You guys certainly have a storied past, and you write the next chapter this Saturday night. Don't forget, guys, if you're in the UK, Premier Sports Sky 412 and Premier Sports Player subscription to check out uh, Bound for Glory this Saturday night over in the UK. Also, you can check it out on Fight. And, of course, the Wednesday broadcast, 10 p.m. on Free Sports, available on Freeview, Sky, Virgin, and freesportsplayer.tv. With that said, we're going to go to Michael next. Michael, welcome to the final press pass before Bound for Glory this Saturday. Hey guys, uh, thanks for having me on. Uh, so yeah, I just have a you know question for Eddie and a question for Sammy. So Eddie, I'll start with you. Uh, you know, you've been with Impact for quite a few years now, accomplished a great deal, and you've been with Impact uh, during a time of transition. And now the company is really on the rise and doing amazing things. I'm just curious, in your mind, how you know has Impact changed for the better since you've started with the company? And you know, what do you see for the future? You know, honestly, it's it's the, everybody being on the same page from the boys and girls in the locker room to the office to production. I feel that everybody is trying to take those same, same steps forward. You know, we're all on the same page. We know things aren't going to change overnight or they weren't going to change overnight. You know, it's going to be a battle. and It's a battle we can continue to fight. And it's something that I know. I know what Impact Wrestling is capable of. I know collectively everybody in the locker room, the office, I know what we can do. And it's continue to move forward, continue to make Impact Wrestling the greatest wrestling show on earth. And it's, it's a sense of trust. I trust, you know, obviously Sammy and I, we have our differences. But I know if I'm not wrestling, if I'm wrestling or if I'm not wrestling him, he's going to go out there and he's going to bust his ass. And that's the way it is up and down the roster. And that's the way it is in the office. I can trust the office to do what's best for the company. Because in the end, we are a team, and this is what it's all about. And, and I know it's overused, the term family or brotherhood or whatever it is, but I can honestly say that it does feel like a family because we all have each other's backs in good times and bad. You know, that's the, that's the best part about it. Like, if somebody has something going on that might not be that good, we can tell them that. You know, maybe try this, maybe try that. And I think that's the special thing about us. Like, nobody, nobody's out to get anybody. Nobody's out to stab anybody in the back. That's not Impact Wrestling. That may be elsewhere, but it's not with us. So we're just taking that step forward, man. Awesome. And Sammy, I'm curious, you're talking about how uh, Ken Shamrock has become a bit of a bitch, uh, according to you. Uh, are we talking about like the level of a bitch in your mind as like Jim Cornette or uh, not quite? And First how of did all, you get I, I think it's one of those things after agree with Eddie Edwards, Impact Wrestling is a family and I'm the daddy. Uh, and when I say Ken Shamrock's a bitch, he ain't a bitch anymore. The thing that Ken Shamrock was letting people get into his head is he was afraid to hurt people. He's afraid to go out there and be the killer that he is. He was trying to make everyone happy, play nice guy, do the right things for business without doing the right thing for Ken Shamrock. And Ken Shamrock at the end of the day is going to thank me also because I did the best thing for Ken Shamrock in the past 15 years. And that's make him relevant and make him the biggest killer in impact wrestling. Awesome. Well, good luck at Bound for Glory to both of you, and thanks for the, the time. daddy. Don't thank forget you. <laughs> Michael, thank you very much for your for your questions. Um, I think we'll just leave the daddy alone for now. Uh, next up, we're going to go to uh, Bison from Total Nonstop Impact in the UK. Bison, welcome to Press Pass. Hey guys, really nice to see you. Uh, really looking forward to Bound for Glory this uh, this coming weekend. Uh, my question really um, is sort of kind of aimed at, aimed at Eddie, I guess. Uh, with the storied past that you guys have had, obviously, uh, Backgate. Um, where Backgate, do you think... oh, that's a good one. Thanks, Sammy, I appreciate that. Um, so where do you see uh, this going after you clearly destroy uh, Ken Shamrock on Saturday? You know, the, the main plan is to get back to my world title. That's, that's always the goal. And, you know, I wouldn't mind if I have to focus on Shamrock and I know that and I'm all looking past him. But if I can get by Shamrock, which I, I have faith that I can, I want to move on back to the world title, get back in that picture 
and perhaps, you know, mess around with Sammy again. I'm down with that anytime. We can, we can go back to whatever it is we have going on. I'm a okay with that, but I'm looking forward to getting past Shamrock first. You're going to have yeah. a hard time getting back to the world championship when you get your ankles broken this Saturday. Interesting, Sammy. It, it, it's interesting how you obviously come 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 across with, with regards to that. I, I'd like to see, obviously, again, I'd like to see a program with yourself and Eddie come come after Bang for Glory. So it'd be interesting to see how this all pans out. A program? What is this? The Big Bang Theory? Is this Friends? This ain't just a program to me. This is personal. And it'll always be personal with me and Eddie. Tyson, thank you very much for the questions. Uh, Russell Zone is also uh, joining us here, uh, Bill Pritchett. Bill, uh, thank you guys, obviously, for the coverage of Impact each and every week, and you're also uh, live tweeting along here with Press Pass. What's your questions for Sammy and Eddie? Hey, guys. Uh, so it, there's been this narrative of Impact really getting a, a new start, a fresh start in a way it's been by celebrating and acknowledging the past. So first to Eddie, I wanted to ask, uh, you've been around Impact long enough to see a bunch of changes over the years and you were an X Division champion for part of that. So what do you think the, the X Division can do to really reinvent itself or to rebrand it where it, you know, it can be on a level that, you know, some of the other divisions are sort of getting the praise for now, like you know, the, the knockouts division and the tag team division. You know, I don't think it's a matter of changing something or doing something specifically different. I think it's a matter of getting getting the right eyes on the product. I mean, if you watch these X division, division matches, they're going out there and they're killing it each and every week. And that's what TNA was born on. You know, the X division was obviously a, a major part of the upstart of TNA. And I feel that nothing has changed. Like there's still, X division still goes out there, has some of the best matches, has some of the most insane moves that you'll ever see the athleticism is out the window. It's, you know, if people just tune in and watch, they're going to see the greatness that is the X division. And as I said, you know, Bound for Glory, top to bottom, the card is stacked. I take pride in the fact that we have a great women's division. We have a great tag division. We have a great heavyweight world title division. We have a great X division. If people don't want to open their eyes to that, that's on them. But you got to tune in and check it out, and then you can judge. All right, and then – to Sammy, you spent the majority of 2018 and 2019 feuding with people like Tessa Blanchard, RVD, and a lot of people that really just aren't with the promotion anymore. So now that you're kind of circling back around with Ken and to an extent Eddie, do you feel like you maybe lost part of your story in the promotion because you don't have those people to continue the narrative with? see how you, you could say I'm lost. Anything you put me in is going to be gold, and I think I've proven that over the last three years. Uh, I've won match of the year the last two years. I've won wrestler of the year the last two years. I've won moment of the year. I'm one of the most priceless artifacts that Impact Wrestling can have, and it's going to continue to be that for the foreseeable future. Uh, I think right now I'm in a great role with Impact Wrestling because what I can do is I can bring Ken Shamrock back to the golden place and get him back in the right direction. Sammy Callahan ain't going nowhere right now, and I'll be in everyone's mouth for the foreseeable future as well. Thank you, guys. Thanks, bro. Bill, and enjoy Bound for Glory this Saturday night. I'm sure Russell's own will be watching and paying close attention to everything that's going Did down. you just tan? Did you just go away and tan? You look way tanner now, Josh. Did you I, still I put some switch, spray tan on? I had to switch rooms. I went from the, the, the main room to, to one of the other rooms. Your hair still looks terrible, though, so you can't fix that. <laughs> I'm so that. funny. I'm a clown. Very, very funny. Uh, Andrea from Sports Keto is with us next. Hey, Andrea, how are you? Hey, how's it going, Josh? Um, so my question is for Sammy. So you're, you're saying that... <laughs> hi, Sammy. Uh, so you've said that you're trying to build Ken Shamrock back up into relevancy, make him be that killer, that beast that he's always been in the past. So what happens if he doesn't win at Bound for Glory? What does that mean for your relationship with him and how you're going to be working with him moving forward? Well, I can't really answer that because Ken Shamrock's going to win. Uh, I'll guarantee you right now 195% that me behind Ken Shamrock, Ken Shamrock's going to be Eddie Edwards on Saturday. Well, what if he doesn't? He is. What if he doesn't? He is. Okay. Uh, just saying, you know. He any, is. Any given Saturday. You know. He is. That's He'll win. Right. <laughs> Guaranteed. 
All right, thanks, Demi. Thanks, Andrea, very much. Uh, Eddie, do you have a rebuttal for uh, for anything that uh, Sammy just spotted out there? Shamrock wins. But what if Shamrock wins? But what if he Shamrock wins? What if he doesn't? Then he will. What are you gonna do, he will. What are you gonna do? You're gonna find he some will. new. You're gonna find some new minions. You're gonna find somebody else to fight. No, after he kicks his this ass, I might come over to your house and sell all your stupid you know. shoes. You you don't do you don't do that. All right, guys. Before this uh, gets a little too uh, too intense and we get off the rails, let's uh, let's send things over to Ross. Ross has some questions <sighs> from from Facebook. Hey, Ross. Thanks, Josh. Uh, so this question is actually for both of you guys. It comes from Naya. So after Bound for Glory, Logic says that both you two will look to get back into the world title picture. That said, how do you size up Eric Young versus Rich Swan, and who do you want to win based off of potential uh, for either of you two in the title picture after Bound for Glory? For me, it's easy. You know, obviously me and EY... Eric, we have a history. Um, Swan, one of my best friends, one of my good buddies, like everything that Eric Young has done to him, everything that Swan has gone through in his life and his career has led him to Bound for Glory. I, I had the same feeling as Slamiversary. Everything that I had done, every up and down of my career has led me to Slamiversary. And that's the same for Rich here. I have faith that Rich is going to pull it out. And I would love to go against him for that world title. It would be an honor to do that. If not, Eric Young, I would love to take that title off him, but I have faith that Rich is going to pull it off. Is it my turn now? Are you done, Eddie? I guess. See, everything about you is not, that AIP personality, not, that anything is possible. Well, I would say Rich Swan's going to become the world heavyweight champion, but he didn't join me two years ago. If you were to join me two years ago, anything would be possible, and it'll probably be Eric Young for this championship. But since Rich Swan wants to do everything on his own and be a respectable person, uh, I think it's one of those things. Eric Young is going to tear Rich Swan apart. He's hurt, he's injured, and Eric Young's too hot right now. Ross, any more questions from social media? No, well, we did have a question for uh, Sammy. Directly Obviously from, for me. From, from Peter. Uh, I'm not sure you're going to like this, Sammy. He just wants to know, when are you going to get a new hat? <laughs> oh, so funny you know what i have a lot of these and these sell amazingly these hats have made the draw sammy callahan a lot of money and uh maybe i'll ask him when you're going to get a new face because you look like an idiot i don't even know what you look like and i can tell you already look like an idiot okay ross thanks for that and uh we're going to go next to uh from cultaholic aiden gibbons aiden thank you for joining us here on press pass do you have any questions for for Eddie, or do we want to continue to push Sammy's buttons this afternoon? Yeah, you push your buttons. I push the buttons. Hi, guys. Thank you for doing this. Um, so my first question is for Sammy. You so, so since you are um, basically under the guidance, since Ken Shamrock is under the guidance of yourself, do you see an Impact World title match in his future? It all depends what Ken Shamrock wants. After he beats Eddie Edwards, me and him, we might go to a steakhouse, have a nice dinner, sit around, and uh, figure out what the next game plan is. Ken Shamrock can do whatever he wants to do, especially when Ken Shamrock is behind the draw, Sammy Callahan. Ken Shamrock could be world champion. We could be tag champions. He'd be X Division champion. Hell, he might be knockout champion. We're going to take all the belts. That sounds great. Thank you for that, Sammy. Um, in terms of my question for Eddie, so in this feud with Sam, you've been outnumbered, of course, two to one for the whole thing. Um, can you see yourself at Bound for Glory bringing in a partner to maybe help you out or an ally definitely? And if so, who would the ally be? You know, I, I'm confident what I can do in there. Um, but I do have my friends. I do have guys that I've been going to and approaching about possibly lending a hand. Uh, I'm not going to say who I would like it to be because maybe it will be that person, but you know, something's in the works just in case Sammy feels a little froggy, as usual. That's, See, but that's the thing. No guy. one wants to get involved with you, Eddie, because they know the end result. They know the end result is them getting destroyed by the draw, Sammy Callahan and Ken Shamrock. So you're going to be extremely lucky if you want get anyone to even watch your match. That's great. Thank you for that. Aiden, thank you for your, for your questions. Eddie, did you have something to add there, or are you, are you okay? No, I'm good. You're gonna lose. I'm good. You're gonna lose. All right, guys. We uh got a 
about a half hour left with Eddie Edwards and Sammy Callahan here. Continue to raise your hand if you have any questions. Uh, coming up next is Dylan Hughes from Pro Wrestling Post. Hey, Dylan. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I got a question for both of them. Uh, you guys have obviously had some classic moments and matches since you first crossed paths. Where do you guys think your rivalry stands in the greatest rivalry and impact? I mean, that's not up to me to say. I just live in the moment when it's going down, you know, when me and Sammy are going at it. You know, our our rivalry will never end. There, there's no end in sight for it. So, how, you know, you can't grade something that's not done. This is something that's continuing on, and I'll gladly continue this on with Sammy. And, Sammy, I know you, you are mad saying that I don't thank you for what you did. I have thanked you publicly. I will thank you again. Thank you for bringing me to who I am, making me who I am. Because without you, I wouldn't be the man I am. So I do thank you for that. But I will still gladly beat your ass at any point. Gladly. Gladly. Uh, see, here's the thing. Uh, I'm going to go out and say it. We're one of the best, if not the best, rivalries in Impact Wrestling history. Hell, the entire management, the entire locker room should be thanking us for putting this company back on the map and bringing it to where it is today. Like it or not, me and Eddie Edwards are the heart and soul of Impact Wrestling, and that's not going to change. Dylan, thank you for your question. Uh, guys, thanks for the very candid answer as we go next to our friend Najir from Big Gulp Media. Najir, you were the one who won the contest a couple of weeks ago, correct? As we get you loaded in here. Ross, give me a nod if this was, yeah, there he is. All right. Hey, how's it going? Good, what's your questions for, uh, for Eddie and Sammy? I first start off with Sammy. Sammy, you just really continue to innovate and flourish no matter, you know, who you're dealing with and who you're involved with. You just continue to flourish no matter what. Considering that the world's most dangerous tag team didn't quite iron out originally, but now you two are working on all cylinders. Any interest in the tag division after Bound for Glory, specifically Madman Fulton and Ace Olsen, as they potentially could walk out of there as the underdogs of that match. If they walk out the Impact World Tag Team Championships, good for them. You know what? Good for them. Fulton's actually able to go out and actually do something because he was a big failure to me in OVE. Didn't do what he was hired to do. Uh, I think it's one of those things, whatever me and Ken Shamrock want to do, we can do. Uh, the reason we lost the tag team championship back at Slam Reversary was because Ken wasn't the Ken of old. It took him losing and finally admitting I was right to get back to where he was. Because now with him being the world's most dangerous man, once again, the sky's the limit and we can do whatever the hell we want to do. I would love, I would absolutely love to see y'all reinstate yourself back into the tag division. For you, Eddie, uh, very simple question. So much emphasis on your shoes today. So just wondering as a sneakerhead as yourself, anything special coming out this Saturday for Bound for Glory? Uh, you know, I haven't fully decided yet. I'm playing with a couple of ideas. I got some stuff that I can't show you just in case I do. But there's always something special, whether it's, you know, a lot of people get new gear. I like to get different sneakers for the event. So tune in. We'll see, my brother. Right on. Good luck to both of you all this Saturday. Thank you. Major, thank you very much for joining us. And we're going to go next to Battleground. Is that, a, is that a person? Is that a place? Let's see. Uh, Battleground, you are, uh, you're now live on Press Pass. Oh, you're, you're muted, buddy. You got to unmute. I love technology. Uh, it's Battle with the Battleground Podcast. Question for you, Sammy. So here's the thing. You talk about you're the draw and you can make anybody work and you work well with anybody. Could there be a possibility of maybe you and Eddie after you get done working with Ken being a tag team? Hey, you never know. If Eddie Edwards wants to finally admit that I'm right and he's wrong, maybe I'll take little young Eddie under my wing and make him even better than he is right now. That's it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good old young boy, Eddie. Yeah, I don't think that's happening anytime soon. Battle, thank you very much for your question. And uh, as we get moving along here, Danny joins us next from Wrestling Sports. Hello, Danny. Welcome to Press Pass. Waiting for Danny to join us here. We'll wait for his screen to pop up. As we do, don't forget, guys, Thursday night here in the United States, it is This is Bound for Glory 
on Access TV at 10 p.m. Eastern time. Danny, are you with us? Yes, I'm here. Well, okay, guys. So my first question is for Eddie Edwards. Uh, this time you have to face uh, Ken Shamrock, uh, a new Hall of Famer member. And uh, can you tell us what can we do expect for you on Bow for Rory? I mean, what can you expect? You can, I mean, I like to think I will be expecting the victory. You know, as far as the match, I, I'm interested to see how it goes because this is a complete, it's a, it's a mashup of styles. And I'm looking forward to getting there with, you know, a Hall of Famer, the Hall of Famer that Ken Shamrock is. I'm looking forward to going toe to toe with him and see if Sammy is in fact doing what he said and making him the world's most dangerous man again. So I'm intrigued to see what he's got and go in there toe to toe and see what happens. Okay, and my last question is for Sammy. Um, can you, can, we know that Eddie Edwards is not an easy ride. So what can, what, what kind of preparation has Ken Shamrock for this Saturday? I've been teaching Ken Shamrock everything he knows about Eddie Edwards. Uh, this is like any other fight Ken Shamrock's had in his historic career. Uh, if you fight a guy that's a great Brazilian jiu-jitsu, you, you train Brazilian jiu-jitsu. If you wrestle or fight a guy that is a great striker, you train for the striking. Uh, right now, what I've been training Ken Shamrock in is the controlled chaos of Eddie Edwards. Uh, that's his the biggest thing he has going for him. You don't know exactly what he's going to do and when he's going to do it, but I think over the last couple of years, I know him better than anyone else, and I've passed that along to Ken Shamrock, and his game plan is to break both of Eddie Edwards' ankles this Saturday at Bound for we got a preview of that well, thank time. you so much guys and we hope that thanks Danny. appreciate it we hope that you stole the show thank you all right thank so you. from don't forget sammy he's just my being clown. polite to, to the, the media clown. my clown Remember, guys, if you have a question, make sure to raise your hand. What's wrong virtually. with your camera right now, Josh? Can you straighten it up? Be in the middle? Put your camera so you're in the middle of the shot. We're going to go to... Um, Professionalism. Joey. Joey Carney from the Angle Podcast. Joey, thanks for, for joining us. Thanks for having me on. How are you guys? Uh, Joey Carney from the Angle Podcast. Uh, this question is for both uh, Eddie and Sammy. Probably one of the greatest, if not the greatest, uh, feud in Impact history. Uh, now with the addition of Ken Shamrock this Sunday, uh, this Saturday being Hall of Famer Ken Shamrock, this match of BFG is probably one of the biggest, if not, uh, it is the biggest match on the card. What does it mean for the company, uh, or to you, to have the company put you in this position on their biggest night of the, uh, the year? Well, I'll answer this first, Eddie, since you seem to answer all the other questions. You never want to be the gentleman to let me answer first. Uh, it's a great feeling. It's a pat on the back. It's them telling us, you know what? You're really good at professional wrestling, which we already know. Ken Shamrock going into the Hall of Fame. Me ushering Ken Shamrock into a new era of being the world's most dangerous man. Just like you said, we will be the top thing on the pay-per-view, like it or not. Yeah, you know, obviously, as Sammy said, like, we feel that we are the heart and soul. And I can speak for myself. Like I, I live and breathe and die impact wrestling. This is what I am. This is what I do. And Sammy feels the same exact way. Nobody has flown the impact flag higher than we have. You know, this is something we take pride in. So anytime they put us in a, in a spot to go out there and steal a show, whether, you know, depending what doesn't matter what the match is, we're going to go out there. We're going to leave our heart and soul out there because that's what we do. You know, we do it all for Impact Wrestling. This is what we want to do. We want to help take it to the next level. We want to be at the forefront of the Impact Wrestling Army. We want to be out there leading everybody. We want to be the guy to say, hey, get on our backs. We'll take you to the promised land. That's what we go out there and do. And that's the one thing I do have respect for Sammy because I know he feels the same way. We go out there and we try to kill it and we do that for Impact Wrestling. Awesome. I don't think there's uh, two better guys to be put at the forefront impact so i appreciate your time and uh good luck this uh saturday thank you brother thank you brother joey thank you for your time and your questions obviously for, for both cloud. eddie and uh and sammy callahan level of mutual respect from both of you for each other it's great to see as we get ready for saturday night coming up next is kevin from putting you over kevin come on and uh join us on fresh pass 
Did you say pudding or pudding? Pudding, you know. I, 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 I it's a podcast pudding. about chocolate and vanilla pudding. It's not, a, uh, it's not about pudding. It's putting you over, uh, Mr. Callahan. My first question is for you. Um, are you afraid at all that you may unleash a monster inside Ken Shamrock that you're not going to be able to control? I ain't afraid of anything. Uh, I think I've shown that Madman Fulton, questionably, possibly, the, the biggest monster in the entire uh, Impact roster, and I controlled him to a T. What makes you think I can't do the same thing with Ken Shamrock? I, I don't know. That's why I asked you. And by the way, you are also wearing a ball cap, uh, Mr. Callahan. I, I'm always I'm wearing a ball cap. I think that's uh, a, a thing that I always do. But I wear it with a suit, with a vest. Eddie Edwards there, a T-shirt and all his shoes. Be professional, Eddie. Uh, there we go. My next, my next question uh, is for Eddie Edwards. Um, Eddie, do you feel that Sammy is just afraid to get back into the ring with you and he's using Ken Shamrock? Uh, he just beat him on Tuesday. Your question I, falls I, down. I, I, I just beat you, him on Tuesday. Sammy, I already asked you a question. Yeah. This one's for Mr. Edwards. You know, if, you know I, I can honestly say, I know Sam is not afraid of much. I, Sam is not afraid to get in there with me. Is he worried about what might happen? Possibly. I would say so. But nope. I know it's Sam. Sammy's all about the mind games. He's trying to build up his army again. He's trying to get his minions going. That's what he's doing now. I'm not afraid of him. He's not afraid of me. We've done it before, and we will gladly do it again. I will gladly do it again. So I don't think he's afraid. Maybe he's just biding some time. The only thing I'm afraid of is the snakes, and brother, you ain't a snake. All right, thank you. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Kevin, thanks for your time and your questions for both Sammy Callahan and Eddie Edwards. We're going to go next to Danny from Wrestling Travel as we try to get to everybody's questions with our final 15 minutes here live on Press Pass. So, Danny, if you unmute yourself as you just did, what's your questions for Eddie and Sammy? Danny, you with us? Looks like he traveled right out of this stream right now. <laughs> oh, there he is. Danny, what's your question, buddy? Yeah, the question is for, uh, for both. Um, how does your mindset and preparation change going in to matches with no fans in attendance, especially for the biggest show of the year this Saturday at Bound for Glory? And that question is for both. Sammy, please. You first, please. Oh, you don't have anything to say, so I'll save your please. ass yet please. again. Uh, I think it's no different because when I'm out there with or without fans, I'm in a tunnel vision. I don't notice what the fans are doing, and it's the same thing as always. There are going to be thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people watching at home, so it's just like having any other match. Uh, the one thing where this really hurts Eddie Edwards is he's not going to have those fans in attendance behind him give him that extra little bit of pep that he desperately needs. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's true. Once we get, you know, once we get in the ring, it's like riding a bike. You're just doing, you're, you're doing the same thing. You ha you're focused on your opponent. But I'm not gonna lie, I do miss the fans because you know they do, they do encourage me. They do give me that little boost. They give me that adrenaline bump. You know, um, so it is a little bit different. But once you're in there, the pain is real. Everything that you're doing is real. So you know, it wakes you up real quick. If you're not prepared for it, you will be. Danny, thank you very much. Really appreciate the questions and the passion coming from both Eddie and Sammy as we get ready for your Saturday camera. night. <sighs> David Dunn from NZPWI joins us next. David, welcome to Press Pass as you uh, have the opportunity now to ask a question of both Sammy Callahan and Eddie Edwards. Welcome to Press Pass, David. Thanks, Josh. Uh, thanks for having me, guys. Um, my question, start off with a question for Sammy. Uh, Sammy, we know you're going to be in the corner of Ken Shamrock at Bound for Glory this weekend. Uh, will you also be involved when Shamrock is inducted into the Hall of Fame on the pre-show? Are you going to, you perhaps you've got something oh, yeah. to say? I'm going to be there. Like I said, he's my best friend. Anything Ken Shamrock needs for the draw Sammy Callahan to do, Sammy Callahan's going to do it. Uh, there's a reason that hashtag Ken Samrock, all S-A-M, capitalized, was trending on Twitter last week because people love me and Ken Shamrock. I love Ken Shamrock. Ken Shamrock loves me. So I'm 100% going to be there for his Hall of Fame induction. 
Fantastic. Thank you. And, and Eddie, you are not welcome. Damn it. Uh, Cliff. Question for Eddie Edwards. Eddie, yeah, sorry about that. Not welcome at the Hall of Fame induction. Um, I wanted to ask, a couple of years ago, the incident, the baseball bat, that horrific injury. Um, is horrific. That something that when you uh, you come back, is that something that makes you a little bit gun shy the first time you're going to get physical again? Is that in the back of your mind when you first see a foreign object? Maybe you take that first slam, you're back in the ring, or is that something you just have to put out of your mind every time you get through the ropes? No, that's something you got to put out of your mind. It's, I mean, it's wrestling. you got to put the the chance of injuries out of your mind because that's when they happen. You know, if you're worried about something going wrong, something's probably going to go wrong. Or if you're timid, if you don't want, if you don't go hundred percent into something, that's when things happen. So, you know, was it disturbing for people to see a baseball bat smash me in the face? Yes, it was disturbing for me, but you can't worry about that when you get in there, you just got to go. You can't in, in the ring. It's a hundred percent or nothing. You can't half-ass it, man. And that's one thing I will have to say about Eddie Edwards. Uh, he may be so tough to a fault. He got his face broke on the Impact Wrestling TV taping. And hell, he went out and partied that night. I saw him from across the bar of his little group of goons, ZMA, whatever you want to, ZNA, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so he's too tough to a fault. And that's one of his biggest downfalls. Downfall, schmoundfall. Thanks, ZNA, Yvonne, what's that even mean? You have to ask, you don't know, Sammy. If you have to ask, oh, you I know, know, I know, I know, you, you know, know, I know, you don't know. Come on, David. Thanks, here. thanks for the question, guys. If we can uh, keep the arguing to a minimum, we're going to try to get as many questions in ah, as Josh. we can. And we do apologize. We do apologize to members of the media that have been here and and will not be able to ask the question. Uh, certainly, uh, trying to get the everybody out there that we can. Uh, with that said, with our final ten minutes, Ross, uh, we have some more questions from Facebook. My Russ. Yeah, actually, Eddie, this question is for you. Interesting thing is it comes from a Samuel. I'm just going to leave it at that. He wants to know, do you think this could be the dumbest decision of your career to step in the ring with two guys who are arguably the most dangerous people in wrestling? No, I'm ready for it. If, it, if Samuel thinks it's a mistake, well, I, we'll wait and see if it's a mistake. Maybe it is. Who knows? I don't know. You don't know. Ross, do you know? Is it a mistake? You don't know. Nobody knows. Only time will tell. I'm going in there. Nothing's going to stop me. Broken ankle, hurt ankle. It ain't going to stop me. I've done it before. Let's do it. I'll go in there with a wheelchair if I need to. Your wife's going to think it's a mistake when she's taking care of you for the next three weeks. All right, Sammy. Now you don't have to go there, pal. All right. All right. You don't need to go there. Thanks, Ross. Rock. Good question, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, we have a, a question here from me, uh, Mary. I can pronounce her last name. This one is actually for uh, Sammy. Sammy, you've been kind of coy on your game plan for this match. What do you plan to do in this match? How have you been coy? I've said it the entire thing of this media call. Ken Shamrock will break Eddie Edwards' ankles, and I'll be watching by making sure Ken Shamrock has the killer instinct that he's always meant to have. First of all, he becomes a Hall of Famer. Second of all, he beats Eddie Edwards. Third of all, me and him go out and party because we're best friends. Pretty simple game plan. All righty. Joe Ross, Ross, thanks for the questions, guys. Thanks for the questions from uh, social media, from Facebook. And we're going to go back to our buddy Bill from Russell Zone. Bill uh, has another question. And he, uh, you got a little guest with you there, Bill. Oh, I think you're still muted, Bill, because we can't hear you. <laughs> Come here. There you go. Oh, she's not happy. <laughs> What'd you do to that, wanted... baby? I wanted to ask both of you uh, about the the actual in-ring environment uh, in Nashville. You guys have, I guess, gotten used to working without fans and people want to obviously know when fans are coming back. But whenever that happens in the meantime, do you, do you guys have any talks about maybe piping in crowd noise or music or any kind of ambient noise to really, you know, just try to bridge the gap between having no reaction and what you're used to pre-COVID? I think That's it's one of the things that I think has actually uh, helped impact wrestling the long haul. When COVID went down, you saw a lot of other companies uh, without their bells and whistles come down a notch and impact wrestling went up a notch, truly showing the entire wrestling world that impact wrestling is one of the best wrestling shows on the planet. 
Yeah, right now I think you know we're doing something different. We're going out there. We're doing it. You know, it's all natural. You hear everything. You hear the hits. You hear every sound in that ring, which I think it's a good it's a good change for the fans to be able to hear the actual moves that are going on in the ring. You know, we're bringing yeah. something different. There's there's a lot of hard hitting going on in that ring, and you can hear when it happens. Yeah, you want to hear something hard? Go to my uh, go to my Twitter right now at the Sam oh. Callahan and watch me demolish Eddie Edwards with a clothesline. It sounds like a gunshot. Thanks, guys. Well, Thanks. thank you very much for your time. Uh, Sammy, with the few minutes we have left, you've been uh, spouting some figures on your social media with Ken Shamrock. Uh, his numbers seem to be a little uh, inflated, perhaps? No, we were trending three weeks ago, 42 billion retweets. Yeah. I've already showed Ken the numbers. He, he doesn't know what they mean, but he's obviously quite happy. 45 billion retweets. Wow. A lot of retweets. Uh, Liam Crowley, Wrestling Inc. Liam, welcome to uh, the press pass. This is our, this may be our final question as we welcome Liam in. Yeah, can you guys hear me? We got you. Cool. Um, my first question uh, is for Sammy Callahan. Obviously, when you re- yeah it is yeah it is yeah when you turned to Impact earlier this year, you were sporting a bit of a new gimmick with ICU. Uh, it was a hacker gimmick, and it was kind of similar to what you portrayed in NXT with Solomon Crow. Did you draw any inspiration? from Solomon Crow, and did you take any elements that maybe didn't make it to NXT TV and bring it to Impact Wrestling? This is something I've had in my back pocket for years, and now I see other companies trying to copy it, which it always does with the draw of Sammy Callahan. Hell, half the things I've come up with in the last five years has been stolen and used somewhere else, but there's only one Sammy Callahan. There's only one person that does it like I do, and right now I'm one of the hottest things in professional wrestling yet again because I always evolve. I always do something new. It's the same thing I did for Eddie Edwards when I hit him in the face with a baseball bat. I forced him to evolve and get out of the whole thing of the American Wolves and get on to doing something better. Thank God there's only one of you. Thank God. Praise the Lord. Ah, I wish you had one pair of shoes. Never. Uh, Liam, thanks for the questions. Uh, Guys, we'll leave it with you here. Some final thoughts on what we're going to see this Saturday night at Bound for Glory. You guys have uh, been talking for quite some time now about what you think is going to uh, happen, predictions for what's going to happen. But uh, maybe a final message, Eddie, from yourself to Sammy and Ken, and then uh, Sammy will finish with you. Yeah, the best for last. Got to save yeah. the best so for last. Sammy, because Sammy will just keep interrupting and go on and on. So if you, if I can just leave after I'm done so I don't have to listen, that would be fantastic. That would be best. Um, that'd you be know, the best. Bound for Glory, myself and Ken, that's what I'm focused on. I know Sammy's going to be out there, as I said. Shenanigans, he's going to get into something, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. You know, I'm going there with, with a Hall of Famer, a man I did respect up until now, a man that I'm, you know, it is an honor to be in there with him, and it's going to be a big honor to be. Sammy, are you okay? Are yeah, you okay, I had something oh, in okay. my throat. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, thank God you're okay. So I, I lose. I lose. In general is going to be, and it's going to be a great show. You know, there's no Sammy Callahan in any matches. That's a great thing. Uh, but it's going to be top to bottom stacked. So I can't wait to watch the whole show. I can't wait to go out there with Ken and tear it up, man. And get that W. Eddie, thank you. And if, if you do want to leave now, Eddie, you're, you're more than thank welcome you. to, or you can stick around. Samuel, I'll see you soon, pal. I'll see you soon. Sammy, your final thoughts before. You're going to let him blatantly disrespect me like that. I'm a professional. I've been doing this for you guys, making sure you get great ratings. I've been on my best behavior, and you let him blatantly disrespect me like that. Well, you can. And I'm not even on the show. Hell, I might not be in a so called match, but I'm still going to win match of the year. That's how damn good the draw Sammy Callahan is. Final thoughts for for Saturday. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. You want my final thoughts? My final thoughts is I guarantee 190. Hell, I guarantee 45 billion percent that Eddie Edwards loses to Ken Shamrock this weekend and the draw Sammy Callahan is going to be the reason that happens like it or not the draw Sammy Callahan is the best thing to ever happen to impact wrestling and I'm bound for glory I do the same thing I always do and that's put the wrestling world on notice you have a dumb haircut Lauren you're okay Ross you got a bald head peace Sammy Callahan, thank you very much for your time. Guys, don't forget, Impact Week continues tomorrow night on Access TV with This Is Bound for Glory. 
And then, of course, it is Countdown to Glory live Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. And then the biggest, night of the, the biggest night of the year. Yeah, there's Damn a hacker it. who can't turn off his Zoom call. The hey, I'm not using of, my computer. The biggest night of the year, Bound for Glory, live this Saturday night. Members of the press, thank you very much for joining us. And for all of our fans around the world watching on Facebook, we appreciate it as well. We'll see you guys all live on Saturday night. This Saturday, Bound for Glory.